I like to say a vort, a little bit on the parish of parish, but I'm being bored. <coughs> and it brings us a little bit into into the Yom Tov of Shvuas. This week's parish are mentioned by Ravi, parish by Midbor, Ela told us Aaron and Moshe. These are the generations of Aaron and Moshe, the offspring. On the day that Hashem spoke to Moshe Rabbeinu, at Har Sinai, Ve'elish Mois, B'nei Aaron. These are the names of the children of Aaron. Habachor, who was the Bechor, Nodav, Ma'aviu, Elozer, Ve'isamor. So Rashi poses from the Chazal the famous question. It says, these are the children, offsprings of Moshe and Aaron. And it doesn't mention one child of Moshe Rabbeinu. It only says the children of Aaron. And that's called children, offspring of Moshe. Explain that one. So Rashi says, Malame comes to teach us. Shkala Malame is Ben Chaveru Toire. Moshe Rabbeinu taught them Toire. And it's considered Mala Olav Akasa. The Torah considers it Kilu Yoldoi. It's as if Moshe Rabbeinu gave birth to Nodov, Aviu, Elozer, and Isomor. Now the famous question, Sivse Chachomim, poses the question, name the Maral Mi Prague. <coughs> this is a little bit of a problem. He says, one minute here. Moshe Rabbeinu taught all of Bnei Yisrael Toide. What is so special that he taught Nadav, Aviu, Elazar, Isamor? And that's considered it's as if he gave birth to them. I mean, he taught everybody of Klal So What's so special? But Nadav, Aviu, so the Maral Prague says something fantastic. He says like this. Moshe Rabbeinu was given Toide from Hashem and Ar Sinai with a job. Teach Toide to Bnei Yisrael. Now the fact that Moshe Rabbeinu teaches Toide to Klal Yisrael, He's doing his job, okay. He was given the Torah. Go teach it. And that doesn't like greatness. But to take Nod of an Aviyu, a Lazavi, someone who have a father, they have a father, Aaron. Let Aaron teach Nod of. Let him teach Aviyu, a Lazavi, someone. And Moshe Menu felt, I'm going to take them and learn with them. These boys are special. And I will learn with them and teach them Torah. That's going beyond the call of duty. That's Ke'ilu Yoldoi. That the Torah considers, it's as if Moshe Benu gave birth to them. Now what's the lesson? What do we learn from it? A person can be doing what he has to do. This is my job. Okay. Greatness is go beyond that. Let's go a little bit beyond our Chiyuvim. But a person does a little bit more beyond the call of duty. That's greatness. And really, the lesson, Rus and Orpah coming up Shavuos, two people are going back to Eretz Yisrael. Two girls are going together with their mother on Nomi. And they both want to become Giyoris. They want to join the Jewish nation. It's a little bit hard for Orpah when she hears all the halakhas and this, and she goes back. But the greatness of Rus is, I'm going to go beyond the norm. No shidduch. I won't have anything in life. But I'll become a Jewish woman. Part of Klal Yisrael. And that she's willing to do. That lesson. To go beyond what we have to do. That is unbelievable. Now. There's one take. On the word Kalamala. Whoever teaches Ben Chaveira. I just want to say one word here. It doesn't say whoever teaches Klal Yisrael. Whoever teaches Ben Chaveira. Ben Chaveira means... I'm not just teaching a class of 20. I'm teaching 20 individuals. Ben Chaveiroi. I look at it like I'm tutoring one boy. Now it's true, it's a whole class. It'd be 20, 25, 30. But a Rebbe, a true Rebbe has to look at it. I'm teaching individuals. Each boy, each girl is a diamond. Here, Baruch Hashem, in the yeshiva, it's towards the end of the Zman, towards the end of the yeshiva. Yeshiva here, and Baruch Hashem, we can say there is Yeshiva, all the Rabbeim were dedicated. We're going to go beyond the call and make sure that each boy should shine. Each one is a star. We should all be Zoyche, a wonderful Shabbos, and be Zoyche to a Kabbalah Satoira and Shvuis. We should all have a Mo'adim Lesimcha, Chagim Uzmanim Lesasa.